All right guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how to take a selfie. And this may seem kind of insignificant in the big picture, but I assure you that this, has, um, this is very significant in the world today. So raise your hand if you get the perfect selfie on the first try. Oh, no. oh, okay, you, I see you, confidence, um, you too. Um, now raise your hand if it takes you more than the first try to get the perfect selfie. All right, I see you guys, yes. Okay, as you can see, taking a selfie is not as easy as some people think. Um, with this added stress, it is understandable how some can be intimidated by this process, but with this information provided to you, I assure you that you'll be posting the perfect selfie and taking the perfect selfie the first time um, in no time. So as you can see, there's pressure in society to get the perfect selfie. You have pressure from your peer groups, from your parents maybe, from like the, um, from like online, from the online sources, from apps, and you also have pressure from yourself to get this perfect selfie. All right, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. These apps run the technologically inclined world. So with this, um, these apps allow you to create online profiles and to communicate with the public, right? So with this, um, what's the point of communicating if you don't have a face to show for it? So with that, come selfies come into play. And with doing selfies, um, it makes you less of a stranger to the online world. Okay, here's like some of my selfies from the past. Um, I'm credible to this because I love taking selfies. Like, it just, I think it like captures the moment and shows um, the emotion of the moment I was in. And it's just something concrete to look back on and to see like where you were in that particular moment. All right. So with you guys listening, I will give you an insight on how to take the perfect selfie and why it is important. And as you can see, life moves pretty fast, Ferris Bueller once said. So taking a selfie not only makes you less of a stranger online, but it um, creates long-lasting memories forever. Okay, the main points I'm going to discuss today are lighting, angles, and facial expressions and how they play a role into creating this perfect selfie. Alright, first point, lighting. Alright, so photography first started out um, with depending on light from the sun. So that was like the first um, thing that photographers used before in 1839, L. Ibbotson used the oxyhydrogen light. And this light is not very practical. You can't really take a selfie with this light. So as more innovation, innovations came, um, like the late 1920s, the flash bulb, you still couldn't necessarily take a selfie with this um, camera, but it did, um, did move on to the, um, a better way to take a selfie. And then in the 1950s, the open flash came about, which is what we have today on our phones and on our cameras, and that's what we use to take a selfie in the dark. And I say this to you guys just to give you like more information about like the flash and how it really um, helps like take selfies in the dark and stuff. All right. So next we have. Um, let's see. So finding the perfect lighting can make all the difference in the world, and this is really proven in Stephanie Stephanie Nolasco's article written on February 24th. 2015, she actually had a chance to, Stephanie had a chance to interview Carrie Yee English, which is the top model. She was on season eight, I believe, of America's Next Top Model. And she um, gave Stephanie some quotes that I'll read to you guys on how to really um, find your lighting. So, um, Carrie Yee says um, in the interview that natural lighting is always better. You want to find the sun and face the sun. She said, um, you want to find your light, but you want the lighting to hit your face and you want your chin to be lifted up so it creates no awkward shadows. And um, now you've heard it from a top model so you can apply it to your own life. Okay, next we have angles. So, let's see. This is Kim Kardashian's book. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but yes, Kim Kardashian did write a book um, published on May 5th, 2015. This book showcases Kim Kardashian's talent, probably only talent, but <laughs> anyway, so this book gives insight on how to take um, a perfect selfie. Um, she wrote this book, well she didn't really write the book, she took pictures and published it in a book on um, how to take a good selfie. So we can learn from her. As you can see on the left, Kim Kardashian's face is tilted slightly to the right and creating like her jawline more defined. And now that you've figured out what um, angles are good for Kim, you can kind of apply this to yourself. So with this, um, moving on to the angles that are good for you guys. So as a selfie taker, it's important to know what angles work and what doesn't. So if your best feature is your eyes, then you want to look up to the camera. You want to hold the camera up and look up so it really accentuates your eyes. If your nose is your best feature, then you want to hold the camera um, straight forward and just like front on to the camera. And if your lips are your best feature, you want to take it from slightly below. So hold the camera like right here to accentuate your lips and make them more look more like Botoxy. I don't know if you guys are into that, but anyway. 
So now you've heard that. And now we're on to the third point, facial expressions. So in a study written by Cornelia Herbert in 2013 called Your Emotions Are Mine, conducted by Frontiers in Human Neurosciences, what this study shows, um, the conductor used ERP methodology to prove that facial expressions have a better um, attributor in, cre excuse me, in creating um, a connection to the audience rather than words do. So with this, it really proves that selfies can connect to an audience more than any word could because it's a picture and it's long lasting forever. All right, so this guy here, um, he is a dude that I found on the internet, um, copyright John Taki, and he's showing four different facial expressions. So I'm just gonna ask you um, as an audience, you can blurt it out, what you think the first face represents. What do you think he's feeling in the first one? Sad. Sad, okay, second one? Hungry. Tired? <laughs> okay, third one? Shock. And fourth one? Tired. All right, so the first one, um, as copyright from John Taki, um, the first guy's feeling sad, then angry, surprised, and bored. And I show you this to prove the significance facial expressions have. So um, just an example, say you're having a great day. You're having a great day and you just bought a new pair of Nikes because you got paid and you didn't have class because your professor canceled it. And no, 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 Anyway, so um, yeah, so with that, um, you're not going to take a selfie with your new Nikes looking like face number two. You're probably going to be showing those pearly whites and all happy and whatnot. And that's going to convey a positive message to your audience um, about like how you're feeling. You're not going to be feeling sad or anything. All right. So, So I just covered the three basics for getting the perfect selfie. Lighting, angles, and facial expressions. And with this knowledge, I hope you guys can use it to your advantage in getting the perfect selfie. And thank you.